Hello and welcome to lesson 57 in the creation of our school management system using Microsoft Excel and Word VBA with the GeForce IT Service Academy. In lesson 56, we dealt with how to refer data from the student detail sheet into the fees payment database system. We dealt with how to insert the various formulas that can help us to print the fees payment receipt for students who completed payment without any challenge so in this lesson we are only going to work on the admission receipt we are going to work on how to insert the various formulas that can help us to fetch data of each student from the student detail sheet onto the official admission receipt so if you are new to the channel please make sure i subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell icon as we upload new videos on how to create a school management system using microsoft excel vba so without wasting much time let's just get started so let's quickly search for the admission receipt here so this is the admission receipt that we are going to work on this is the receipt that we are going to insert the various formulas into so that we can be able to print the data or to print the the details the admission details of our students so before we start let's search for the student details table because we are going to use the students detail table in this case so let's select everything starting from a2 to the last student and let's give it a name after selecting it like this let's give it a name array so let's give it adm admr admission receipt so we hit enter okay so let's give it a different name adm okay so administration like this so let's hit enter good so i think we are good to go back before we continue let's select everything again and see if it is appearing a name manager for mail merging let's see what is going to happen let's see whether the name is appearing a name manager good so it is there so now that we are done with this one we are going to use the formula that we used for the official fees payment receipt we are going to use a similar formula so we are going to use the if error function we are going to use the if error function so what you need to do is to insert your equal to sign like this please make sure that you follow this lesson vividly so that you don't make any mistakes so insert your equal to sign then if error you double tap on it then v lookup you double tap on the v lookup then the table array the table array is administration but before we even insert the table array let's click inside this particular search box here then you enter your you enter your comma when you click inside this particular search box here you enter your comma then you enter your name array the name array is administration so it is already popping up here so double tap on the administration then you bring your comma like this we are working in the first column so you enter your one there one is representing the first column then comma you enter zero then you close the bracket after that you insert another comma again then you bring your semicolon the first one you bring the second one you close it like this you hit enter good so we should be able to see something like that but because we are not done inspecting all the formulas we will not see anything here so let's just copy the formula here let's copy all the formula here then we paste it in all the columns but we will edit them so Control c to copy then let's press the escape key on the keyboard then you insert your equal to sign again sorry that is not where i'm supposed to do that then. okay so insert your equal to sign Control v to paste enter 
good so i'll come to this side insert my equal to sign again control v to paste then this time i'll change the one to two change it to two like this hit enter we are good to go insert your equal to sign control v to paste the formula we are in the third column so three you press enter then insert your equal to sign control v to paste we are in the fourth column then you enter your four press enter we are coming to the fifth column here this is the fifth column so insert your equal to sign then control v to paste change the one to five here press enter then we are going to the safe column insert your equal to sign control v to paste your formula change the one to six hit enter we are moving to the seventh column so insert your equal to sign control v to paste you change the one to seven here like this then you press enter we are good to go you're going to the eighth column instead to equal to sign control v to paste then you change the one to eight hit enter we are good to go then you insert your equal to sign again control v to paste you change the one there to nine you change the one to nine here nine hit enter we are good to go then you come to this side to insert your equal to sign control v to paste then you insert 10 that is the 10th column so you press enter then we are good to go so this is how you insert the formulas onto the admission receipt this is the official admission receipt so we don't want this video to be long we would like to end this video here and continue in lesson 58 where we'll be doing some basic settings that can help us to see the details appearing on the admission receipt here so till our next lesson i say thank you very much for watching let's meet in lesson 58 bye bye